Hello everyone, I am Akash. In today's video, I will discuss one interesting question on real analysis from recent CSRNet June 2024 exam. Exam is conducted yesterday, so this is a memory based question. Question is, if n is a bounded sequence of real numbers that is not converted, then the set S which is equal to set of L belongs to R such that L is a limit of subsequence of n is these are the four options and we have to select the correct option. So let us begin the solution. Let us first see what is the set S. S is nothing but the set of L belongs to R such that L is a limit point of sequence A. Okay. L is a limit point of a sequence A. Why? Because we know that every subsequential limit of sequence A m is nothing but a limit point of A m. Every subsequential limit of sequence A m is nothing but a limit point of sequence A. So basically S is a set of limit point of sequence A. Okay. So this is the set S. Now let us discuss the option 1. S is empty set. Clearly no. Why? Because we know by Bolzano Westra's theorem for sequences that a bounded sequence of real number must have at least one limit point. So S must contains at least one member. So S cannot be empty. So option 1 is discarded. Let us see option 2. S contains exactly one element. Again no. Because we can easily construct a bounded sequence of real number which has more than one limit point. To see it, consider the sequence 1, 2, 1 by 2, 2, 1 by 3, 2, 1 by 4, 2, 1 by 5, 2 and so on. Clearly, 2 is repeated infinitely many times in this sequence. So, 2 is one of limit point of this sequence and clearly it has a subsequence 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 5 and so on which converges to 0. So another limit point of this sequence is 0. So this is a sequence which has exactly two limit points and clearly it is a bounded sequence of real number because every number in this sequence lies between 0 and 2. That is every number in this sequence lies in close interval 0, 2. So it is a bounded sequence of real number which has exactly two limit points. So in this case, S contains two elements. So S contains exactly one element? No, not necessarily. So statement 2, that is option 2 is discarded. Now let us see option third. S contains at least two element? Yes, this is a true statement. Why? Suppose S contains less than two element. Clearly, S is non-empty. So, S must contains one element. If S contains less than two element and as S is non-empty, so in this case, S contains exactly one element. But in this case, we know that if a bounded sequence of real number has exactly one limit point, then that sequence is convergent. But given that A n is not convergent, so it must have more than one limit point. So cardinality of S must be greater than 1, not equals to 1. So cardinality of S is strictly greater than 1. Okay. So we must have this cardinality of S is strictly greater than 1. So S contains more than one element. In fact, you can prove that if A n is bounded sequence of real numbers that is not convergent, if A n is a bounded sequence of real number that is not convergent, then it has at least two subsequences 
that converges to different limits okay if an is bounded sequence of real number that is not convergent then it has at least two subsequences that converges to different limits that means that if an is a bounded sequence of real number that is not convergent then it has at least two limit terms so carnality of s is greater or equals to two. in fact carnality of s is greater or equals to two so the statement in three is a true statement so we mark it as correct now let's see statement in four s must be a finite set clearly no because we can easily construct an example of bounded sequence of real number which has infinitely many limit modes to see it consider close interval 0 1 we know that set of rational number in this interval is countable set of rational number in this interval is a countable set and so it can be listed in the form of sequence so consider the sequence of all rational numbers in this close interval 0 sequence of all rational number in this set close interval 0 then as close interval is bounded set so sequence of rational number in this close interval is a bounded sequence of real number okay and as rational numbers are dense in real number so that sequence has uncountably many limit points in this set so there exists a sequence of bounded sequence of real number which has uncountably many limit points so this is one of the example that is sequence of rational numbers in close interval 0 another example is take sequence an as an equals to sin n okay we know that sine function is bounded and all values that takes is between minus 1 and 1 so sequence an is bounded sequence of real number and in fact the set of limit point of this sequence is close interval minus 1 comma so it has uncountably many limit point so these two are examples counter example for the statement in 4 so the statement in 4 is wrong okay this is an example of sequence of rationals sequence of rationals in close interval 0 1 okay so these two are served as counter example for the statement in 4 so the statement in 4 is incorrect so the correct answer to this question is option 3 that is s contains at least two limit points so if you found this video interesting and helpful then please like and share this video and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you for watching